this is uh, uncharted territory, as I say, uh, uh, to some extent, uh, at least anybody that's alive right now. The last time that uh, as this happened, as you know, it was 100 years ago, it's a balancing act. If you have a group over here that's asking for these changes, then also how is that going to affect the changes to, to other members? Another day, another round of votes in Congress to elect a new Speaker of the House and another vote or more will be needed to declare a winner. That's where we begin News 19 at 5. Thank you for joining us. I'm Christine Killemeyer. And I'm Jerry Hayes. Today we saw votes 7, 8, 9 and 10 in Republican leader Kevin McCarthy's bid to become Speaker and lead the Republican majority in the House. But a holdout faction of about 20 Republicans has blocked him each time. And that comes despite consistent, solid support from all six of Alabama's Republican House members. News 19 Chief Investigative Reporter Brian Lawson has been following this all day and joins us now in the studio with the latest. Brian. Yeah, for those in the House chamber and everyone following this, it could be much worse. It seems that in 19, sorry, 1856, there were 133 ballots over two months. So by that standard, we're just getting started. But one of the most worrying things for McCarthy and his supporters, which includes 90% of House Republicans, is that after days of negotiations, basically no votes have changed. Now, Robert Adderhold, who represents parts of North Alabama in the 4th District, says the battle between Marth McCarthy and those who oppose him is part of the democratic process and McCarthy is trying to balance demands of holdouts against his current base of support. And he pointed to that 90% support that McCarthy has in explaining his support for the would-be speaker. At this point, I think it would be unfair to pull the rug out from uh, Kevin McCarthy. Uh, he has uh, worked hard. Uh, he has rallied the troops over the last several years as the Republican leader. And uh, so, therefore, give him a chance to be the Speaker of the House. And as you heard, Adderholt did acknowledge that this is uncharted political territory, at least for anybody who's alive today. Now, no members of the 118th Congress in the House have been sworn in yet. Florida Congressman Byron Donalds has been offered as an alternative candidate for the past two days, but he hasn't gotten much support. And Donald Trump has also been nominated by Congressman Matt Gates. A tenth vote was called late this afternoon with similar results. This will be the first time in 164 years that Congress has needed more than 10 ballots to elect a speaker.